Good afternoon, welcome to Ebony and Ivory Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron, I'm here to show you the 2016 66 plate Audi A6 2 litre TDI Ultra S Line Black Edition, finished off in the metallic tornado grey. First things first, we're going to do a quick walk around of the vehicle, then when we get back round to the start, I'll show you the car once again but in greater detail. These videos are brutally honest, it's using to prep from an Volkswagen Audi Specialist Workshop, and we give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car and what we're prepared to do to them prior to sale. This vehicle in particular comes with full Audi service history. So now we're back around to the start, I'm going to zoom back in and we'll look at the car panel by panel. So the near side front wing looks in good condition, both near side doors look good and the near side rear quarter looks good. Near side front alloy, a nice condition alloy with very light curb into the outer edge so will be refurbished prior to sale. And the near side front tyre is a high end Pirelli with a good 5mm remaining. Moving down the near side, all panel work looks okay, very light scuff just to be polished up and touched in on that mirror there other than that all panels look good one tiny mark just to be touched up on that wheel arch there near side rear alloy another nice condition alloy one or two light marks just to be refurbished prior to sale another high-end pirelli p0 with approximately five mil left looking back down the near side now from rear to front the near side rear quarter looks in good condition both near side doors look good and the near side the wing looks good Moving around the rear of the car now, I'm going to check out the rear bumper and lower plastics to start with. As you can see, for the age of mileage of the car, rear bumper looks in good condition. One mark there, one mark there. Very small marks just to be polished up and touched in prior to sale. Tail lights and tailgate look in good condition. We do have the LED rear sweeping indicators. Rear screen looks in good condition with factory privacy glass and along the roof linings in good condition as well. Looking down the offside of the car now from rear to front, rear quarter looks good, both offside doors look good and the offside front wing looks good. Offside rear alloy, another nice condition alloy, light curbing so will be refurbished prior to sale. Offside rear tyres, another high end Pirelli P0 with about 5 or 6 mil remaining. Moving down the offside, all panel work looks good again. Offside front alloy, nice condition alloy, light curbing so will be refurbished prior to sale. And the offside front tyre is another high end Pirelli P0 with approximately 5 or 6 mil remaining. Looking back down the offside of the car from front to rear, offside front wing looks good. Both offside doors look in good condition and the offside rear quarter looks good. Moving around the front of the car now, we're going to check out all lights and grills in the front bumper itself. As you can see, all lights and grills look in good condition. And as for the front bumper, for the age of mileage of the car, it does look in really nice condition. You do get the odd mark that we'll touch up best we can with a genuine Audi Tornado Grey. But other than that, it looks really nice. Final panel to look over is the bonnet. As you can see, paintwork in the bonnet looks in good condition. Doesn't appear to be any major dents or scratches. You do get the odd stone chip that you expect of a car of this age of mileage. But other than that, it looks okay. We have got a light mark actually just there in the center of the bonnet. We'll get that polished up and touched in with a genuine Audi Tornado Grey prior to sale. Before we make our way through the interior, we'll check out the front screen. It doesn't appear to be any major chips or cracks, a couple of light surface marks, but other than that, looks in good condition. Now we're gonna make our way through the interior of the car, starting in the boot. Power tailgate on this car, which is a nice feature. Very large boot on these A6s. You've got 60-40 split folding rear seats. All carpets and plastics look in good condition other than light wear and tear. Those mats, if they're for this car and fits a bonus as we don't supply floor mats with any of our vehicles. Parcel shelf looks in good condition, bar some light wear and tear, and there you have all the plastics underneath the boot that look in good condition as well. Moving through now, rear door cards look good, and there you have the full leather rear bench with three factory headrests, three three-point seat belts, and ice fix fittings to both outer seats. Charcoal headliner throughout looks good, back to both front seats look good, and the rear carpets look good too. Moving through the front, front door cars look in good condition, front carpets look good, and there you have the front leather S-line seats, bolsters still firm, holding their shape, no excessive wear, no rips, no tears, no cigarette burns, no traces of any odours in this car, passenger seat looks just as good, no signs of any dash repairs or plastic repairs at all throughout. Just before I jump in, it's easy to show you, the front seats are electronically controlled, fully and uh, the driver's side does have two memory positions as well. So jumping in, I'll start the car up and run you through over the rest of the spec the best I can. So we've got full electronic windows with electronic child lock control. 
we've got uh, electronic adjustable heated and power folding side mirrors central locking controls just in front of the driver's door handle there with the memory seats for the driver's seat automatic lights and wipers in this car cruise control on the stock just underneath the indicators moving up the center console we've got the fully adjustable leather armrest two usable cup holders and all your mmi controls in the center electronic parking brake with optional auto hold keyless push button start and the six-speed manual transmission dual climate control air conditioning and front heated seats stop start traction control full park assist so it will parallel park itself and full sensors with optical display and a reversing camera up to the mmi screen now as you can see we've got dab radio and a few other options in media we've got bluetooth audio streaming and again quite a few other options full telephone prep on this car and we've got satellite navigation as well this car does come with the upgraded bose speaker system and back over to the driver's side we're finished off with this flat bottom leather bound s-line multi-function steering wheel and this car's on 80,026 miles thank you very much for watching this video if you've got any questions about this car or any of our stock please give us a call on 01724 876 555 thanks again